Hey guys, happy Monday. I'm here at 56 Leonard Street to show you the completed fresh look of the bean. Um, similar to the Chicago's bean, just you cannot walk underneath it. And it's uh, located under the famous Jungle Building. You can see up here. And we have a really nice day with blue sky, so it's reflecting there. So you have a picture within a picture, which is quite nice. And also... The truck is moving, sorry. Also, I wanted to say that um, it has become a touristic attraction already. I've been trying to take a video of it. <laughs> with no people, but there's always a group of people coming to take photos since I got here. So it is already a touristic attraction. People are coming to take photos uh, with the bean and it's really shiny. They just completed it last week on Tuesday. And this is a photo within a photo. How cool is that? It is so cool. I'm telling you, there's gonna be, as time goes by, there's gonna be more and more people trying to get photos with, with this. It's gonna, it's gonna get harder. So basically giving you a heads up that this one is completed and I would suggest coming earlier than later um, because it's just gonna get more people as time goes by. More people are going to come here and um, yeah, right now you can actually get basically the place for yourself. Almost. You just need to wait a little, but yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in the next few weeks. Let's see. Uh, I shared with you earlier a new... Times Square billboard, they have this huge bunny, it's cute. Also, also I skipped today's filming set. I don't know if I made the right decision or not. I just needed some time off from the filming set, but I might be regretting it a little right now, so I am still thinking of going. We'll see. I'm gonna cross the street again so you can see. See, just more people are coming. More people are coming to take photos with it. Or maybe it's the same group every time it's a different person, I don't know. But, um, yeah. They've, they've been here quite some time. Okay. Yeah, that's the view. Uh, Thailand, hi, how are you? Hey, Sunid. Hey, Camille. Hey, Nancy Rose. Oh. Yes, Chicago has now a friend in New York City. Um, not sure how the people in Chicago, Chicago feels about it. Hey, Althea. Hey, Christina. I, um, I woke up and heard the news coming from Turkey and Syria, and um, there was a huge earthquake, uh, one of the strongest in years. And um, my heart goes out to the people out there. It's like sometimes nature hits us and then you feel like there's, there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Like you, you, you have no powers. You don't know what's going to happen. You wake up and <laughs> I, it's, I don't know. I, I find it, um, I don't know, like you go to sleep and you don't know what's going to come at night and we all, you know, live our life and we um, maintain our routine, but all of this is very scary and I think... Um, it's impressive we're handling it, like with all the uncertainty of life, 
we're handling it and we still, you know, have somewhat of a normal life, even though we know it can be so unexpected and something can happen any given moment. You know, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so uh, my heart goes out to the people in Turkey and Syria. I know there's been like very big damage, a lot of building collapsing and um, I hope they're gonna get all the help they need to restore everything. And I, I don't know, like, uh, it was also very close to Israel, so some parts of Israel also felt the earthquake. And I don't know, like, uh, is it over? Is it gonna happen again tomorrow? Is it, uh, like, <sighs> I don't know. Okay, I'm switching the subjects because I don't want to talk about it. I think the more you think about it, the harder it is for you to get back to. Like, you can get caught in your own thoughts and it can be not healthy. I have this thing looking at me, I don't know what it is. It's like a helmet, it is part of the... I don't know, it was looking kind of like a frog and it was looking at me, so <laughs> I got distracted. Um, Amsterdam, hello, Bangladesh, hello, Peru, Lima, Lima, Peru, uh, I'm gonna do another round back to the bin and, um, I feel like that we should know the news, but we shouldn't be glued to the news, like watch them constantly. But sometimes it's hard because you want to know what's happening. Although you have no control, you cannot change the news. Like, even if I, I cannot change what happened, but I don't know. Stay away from the news. Stay away from the news, you guys. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, one more close up to the bin. It goes all the way around and <laughs> that's the corner. You can kind of go underneath it, I guess. And then you can split the screen half and half, half been, half real life. You you know what's also interesting? Sorry, I'm going back to my. Um. I, I said I won't, but, but like, they could, they could be like countries like fighting and then something like this happen and then like, oh, we're going to send you help. You know what I mean? So if you can help each other in time of need, why can't you just be like good neighbors or, you know, why, why? It's so, it's so bizarre. Like, it's heartwarming that everybody in the world are uh, joining to try to help and send equipment and people and medicine, medications, whatever they need. Um, but after, like, it's over and everything done, okay, then, okay, we can go back to being enemies. What's that? How does that work? That's just... There's so many people at the bin. Did you see that? Like, they're just... More and more people are coming. 
I don't think I'll be able, I'll have to, I need to have a lot of patience to get this with a clear view with no people. Because they're not going away. They are not going away. They're just, I don't even know what they're doing. Like they were taking photos, but I don't know. I'm going to cross the street again. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to be a clear view soon. Hey Carol, good morning Brazil, how are you? I hope everybody is good, staying safe. Robin, yes, there is to be informed with the news and to constantly watch them is two different things. Because sometimes when something big like this happens, like this earthquake, you cannot get your eyes out of the news because it keeps coming and it just it just can mess with your mind because again we cannot control it and just thinking about it can make you very anxious so i don't know it's it, it we need we need balance and um i think when something like this is happening and you feel overwhelmed and you are feeling overwhelmed it is important to keep your daily routine Because it's easier for us to uh, relieve stress when we're doing our daily routine. If you change your routine and you're just going to watch the news or not leave the house, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause more damage. So, And I think it's important, especially for the people who live in the country where it happened, like, I'm sure the people in Turkey are, like, glued to the TV or, and the news. And, and uh, it's important to keep your daily routine. It's important to keep your daily routine when these things happen. Because that's something that, like, um, make us feel safe in some way. So I just wanted to remind everyone that um, keep your daily routine. It's, it's so important. Once you stop it, it can be a slippery slope. I know, I've been there. I've been there, so. Uh, okay. Sorry if I'm mixing like things that, you know, the NYC news with the world news and entertainment and actual news but um my mind is all over the place <laughs> and it also goes on and off from actual news because i my because i had to teach myself not to constantly think about catastrophic happening so um, that's a, that's, that's a, a really important tool for anybody that you can switch your thoughts to a different subject so you're not going to be uh, digging in too much. So, like, I saw the news. I still got up, got out, do what I had to do. I went to Times Square for the new billboard. I came here to the bean. I'm thinking about the filming set, and I'm still thinking about the news, but I'm not obsessed about it. You know anyway i uh, sorry if i confused you but um yeah that's life <laughs> i'm gonna do uh an hd video without all my um ch chimble jumble but uh, again we're in tribeca and we are very close to the ghostbuster fire station so if you come to the bin I would recommend do the both attraction uh, landmarks at the same time. And again, come to the bin earlier. The sooner you can, because as times go by, it's going to be more crowded. And even now, it's pretty crowded. And I'll see you soon, you guys. Take care. Stay safe. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.